I'm fascinated by the question, is life worth living? Uh, not so much by what anyone's answer might be, but how anyone might approach such a question in a clinical, non-biased fashion. Um, it's pretty much impossible to do that, simply because uh, worth, value, the value of life, is so subjective that um, one can only go by one's own experience. Any answer to that question is inherently biased. Uh, and, and inherently and fatally biased, I might add. Um, my answer to that question is almost, well, it is guaranteed, I can speak only for myself here, but it is guaranteed to be so biased as, biased as to be pretty much useless to anyone outside myself. I do believe that my own life is worth living. Um, I don't know, it seems to be okay. Uh, it seems to be worth my while to get up in the morning, go to work, come home, and live out my pointless little existence, because my pointless little existence is a kind of a nice place to be right now. I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow. In the past, it hasn't been very nice. But, um, again, I can only judge by the, in the evidence that I have before me. That's the only possible means that any of us have to judge anything, is by the evidence that we have presented to us. <clears throat> Now, a lot of people have told me, well, you don't know what it's like to truly suffer, or perhaps they haven't said that, but people give examples of what suffering really is, of what harm really is, about how terrible life can get, etc., etc., and, and how meaningless and how meaningless and unpleasant, or unpleasantly meaningless life can be. Well, okay, but <laughs> the problem is, at the very beginning, they say, well, you don't know what it's like. Well, I don't. <laughs> Uh, how can I know what it's like? I don't know what it's like to live somebody else's life. As I say, um, Richard Corey syndrome. I look at somebody who seems to have everything, and he goes home last night and put a bullet through his head. Or we have people inhabiting third world squalid slums, and um, those people are, uh, well, by their own admission, happy with their lives. Um, I can only go by that. I don't really have any way of getting into anyone else's head and finding out whether or not their life is worth living. So I would say that, that the question, is life worth living, is an interesting rhetorical question on many levels, and the answer to that uh, question really might not necessarily be the most interesting part of the question. It might be how people go about answering it. And... Uh, Again, we can only answer such questions based on our own experiences and our own values, the value that we get out of being alive. Um, and again, that's one of the things that I, that I have an issue with people like Benatar and any number of people that I call morbid antinatalists. They insist that they know better than someone else what value they should place on their own lives. That's impossible. Value is subjective. You can't say that this guy who is actually getting uh, value out of his life is wrong. Well, I suppose you can say that, but to me, that uh, I won't even go so far as to say that that's an insane thing to say, although I think that. Um, but it's, it's not, that person doesn't have enough information to ascertain the value of someone else's life. You can't get in there and find out what that person is getting out of their existence. Human consciousness doesn't work like that. We're all more or less sealed capsules. We can communicate with each other, but on an experiential level, no. Um, I don't know what it's like to experience someone else. In fact, I don't even know what the universe looks like to someone else. There's two cats sleeping over there on the couch. What does it look like to see the universe, the world, everything, existence itself from their point of view? I, there is no way I will ever understand that. Um, it, it's just not something that is humanly possible uh, in terms of the limitations of consciousness and the biases, most importantly the biases, that are inherent in existence. <clears throat> so, is life worth living? Again, that's not really what's the most important. The answer to the question is not what's most important. The answer is how one goes about answering that question, the methodology one uses. Any methodology used to answer a value-based question is going to be biased. There's simply no other way to approach it. Thank you.